As predicted, the Optimus humanoid robot played a major role in Tesla's Wii Robot event, where the EV automaker unveiled its much-anticipated robotaxi. Several Tesla bots walked out and mingled with attendees, shutting down speculation that the AI robot's progress is just marketing. Can we do rock, paper, scissors? Rock, paper, scissors? scissors? Yeah. One, two, three. Uh oh, three. you looked at me. Like a... <laughs> okay, we'll do it again. One, two, three. Oh, well, you got me. Okay, best of three. One more. One more. One more. One, two, three. Oh, you got me. I beat my robot. Optimus humanoid served drinks posed for selfies, and demonstrated their normie small talk capabilities. How do you like working for Tesla? Do they treat you well? Yeah, I love Tesla. <laughs> what do you think of Elon Musk? He's a cool guy. He's, what do you think of Elon Musk? I love him. He's a great guy. Yeah, he Are you voting for Trump or Kamala? <laughs> I'm a bot. I don't vote. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. During the event held at Warner Brothers Studios in Los Angeles, Elon Musk emphasized that the robots are built with the same technology that powers Tesla's vehicles. The spectacle comes three years after Tesla announced its humanoid robotics ambitions with a dancing imposter. Uh, unlike, jo unlike Dojo, obviously that was not real. <laughs> uh, so Dojo is real. Uh, the Tesla bot will be real. And uh, we've made a lot of progress with the uh, Optimus. And uh, as you can see, we, we started up with someone um, in a robot suit, uh, sort of down. And then we've progressed tr dramatically year after year. So if you extrapolate this, you're really going to have something spectacular. Musk said the robot will eventually cost between twenty dollars and $30,000 when production is scaled. The price point aligns with what other major humanoid robotics players like Figure and One X Technologies are aiming for when they go to market. Musk said the goal is to make a robot that everyone can own. Um, so you can have your own personal R2-D2 C-3PO. Earlier this year, Tesla bots started doing light work at Tesla's factory. At the same time, Tesla hired humans to train the robots by performing tasks wearing bodysuits. Plans call for limited production of Tesla humanoids in 2025 and wider scale production in 2026. Musk expects the robot to reach a production scale of 1 million units per year within five to six years. Though its real-world use so far has been for industrial tasks, Tesla is positioning Optimus as a general-purpose companion that can do almost anything. Musk predicts that the Optimus will become Tesla's most popular product ever, generating a trillion dollars a year in profits. It, especially if it can, you know, <laughs> you know, it can take care of your, your, take your dog for a walk. It could, you know, mow, mow the lawn. It, it could watch your kids. Uh, it could, you know, it's like it could, it could teach your kids. It could, it could. Well, we could uh, also send it to Mars. I mean, yeah, absolutely. We, though Tesla fans hoped for a demonstration of the Optimus Generation Three, the robots showcase were the second iteration, with exposed wiring making clear they're still prototypes. However, a robotic hand on display appeared to be from the upcoming revision. Musk has said the Gen 3 Optimus hand will feature 22 degrees of freedom, doubling the dexterity of the current model's hands. He said the improved hand design means the robot can perform almost any tasks humans can. Human hands have about 27 degrees of freedom, including 4 degrees in each finger and 5 degrees in the thumb. Heading into 2025, Tesla is facing increasingly stiff competition as the humanoid robotics market expands. OpenAI-backed figure is seen as perhaps Tesla's most formidable opponent. In January, several of its Figure 2 robots will start working full-time at the BMW plant in Spartanburg, South Carolina, after a successful trial earlier this year. Like Tesla, Figure plans to scale production with the third iteration of its robots starting in 2025, with the goal of eventual mass production and deployment. Figure founder Brett Adcock recently said the Figure 3 is designed for high-rate manufacturing and large-scale use in industrial settings. Um, our first and second bot uh, 
can never be made in high volumes, or you never want to want to make it in high volumes. That was intentional. Yeah. Um, we spent all of our time designing a product that was feature complete, that could do all useful work a humanoid can do. That will unlock our ability to sell that performance to customers. And we have to do that now in a very low cost way. And the real way through that is high rate manufacturing. And so, um, so yeah, we're, we're um, you know, I think continuing to, we're two years old, so continue to follow the story. I think um, over time we want, we think cost collapses, we think manufacturing volumes explode. And um, there's a lot we need to do around that hoop. It's, you know, we're, we're doing it now. We're, we're... Similar to Tesla, Figure plans to market its robots for domestic use after they prove themselves in factories. Another OpenAI-backed startup, One X Technologies, intends to introduce its neo-humanoid robots into homes instead of starting an industry. When the much-hyped robot enters homes, it will likely rely on human operators to start. The company plans to use human teleoperation as a stand-in for autonomy at first. The way we're going to tackle this problem is basically by having human teleoperation be a stand-in for the autonomy on day one. So it'll still be useful to do chores in your house, but this is fulfilled by a human operator who's remotely controlling the robot. And you can imagine that over time, as the AI gets better and better, we're replacing small parts of the uh, workflow of the tasks and chores with AI. It's kind of like the ship of Theseus, right? Where you swap out one plank at a time and then eventually it's a completely new ship that's powered by AI rather than humans. Agility Robotics plans to start manufacturing its humanoid robot, Digit, at its new RoboFab facility in Salem, Oregon. Agility Robotics claims it's actually the world's first factory for humanoid robots. Let's go check it out. Yeah, it's been in production for about a year and we've outfitted it to build our next generation robot. The capacity of this 70,000 square foot facility is 10,000 units a year. We will roll up to that over the next couple of years. What are companies asking of you? Why the need for this level of production? Well, the biggest tailwind out there is the large labor gap. GXO Logistics, one of the world's largest logistics and supply chain providers, has already put the bipedal digit to work as part of a multi-year agreement. The robot is primarily used for logistics tasks today, but the company plans to expand its capabilities as technology advances. We're just narrowing the focus to some initial use cases um, that we can concentrate on uh, where the need is greater, but we will continue to add to those use cases over time. Boston Dynamics' Atlas is also often named as a competitor for the Tesla bot. The company, which is owned by Hyundai, unveiled the new electric version of its world-famous AI robot earlier this year. The new Atlas features electric actuators instead of hydraulics, improving efficiency, control, and reducing complexity. Electric systems are quieter and more energy efficient, essential for robots performing continuous tasks. Boston Dynamics has also enhanced its software, incorporating advanced AI, machine learning, reinforcement learning, and computer vision to help Atlas understand and adapt to complex situations, boosting its real-world utility. The company emphasized in a recent blog post that commercializing advanced robots like Atlas requires patience. There's also an onslaught of advanced AI robots emerging from China like the Fourier GR2, the Xpeng PX5, the Xiaomi Cyber One, and Unitree's H1 and G1. The pint-sized G1 is especially disruptive with its $16,000 price point. Remember to subscribe to stay hip on the latest in humanoid robotics. Leave suggestions for humanoid robots to include in future roundups in the comments.